Hey, my name's James Nicholson, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you lead generation for web designers and web developers. So look, I'm gonna assume something. Fairly obvious, if you're watching this video, that you are either a web designer or a web developer, and look, you wanna grow the business. So this channel is for you. So I teach business owners marketing and business funding. So while you're here, make sure you smash the like button, Make sure you smash the subscribe button and hit the bell notification because you're going to get more details and you're going to learn a hell of a lot more. And let's get to know each other. So introduce yourself in the comments below. Let me know who you are, what your business is. I want to know and get to know you guys a lot better. And so let's talk about what you need to do as a web designer and developer and how you're going to get more leads into your business and ultimately more sales. Now, what most business owners do and most web de developers do, and I know this because I had a web design agency called Tempo Web Design for 10 years, and that was a big web design agency with uh, 15 staff and very busy, very, very busy. Uh, we built thousands of websites, and I learned something very important to getting customers. Now, what most web designers do is they compete on price. And all they do on their social media is have sales. There's like, buy this, buy this, buy this. And that actually frustrates people, right? And so we used to do that. We were part of something called Approved Index. And that was awful for our business because what happened was we'd get leads in from Approved Index and then there'd be five web design companies all calling and hounding the leads until one of us got the deal, right? It was terrible, terrible, terrible business model uh, for us. Good for Approved Index, but not so good for us. And so most people bought on price in that instance, right? Which was not great, wasn't great for us. And so, but if I look through um, web design social media platforms, uh, they do all the same stuff. They'll share uh, images of recent projects they've done and they'll be saying, call us, inquire, uh, so you can get your website done, right? No one really cares about that anymore because you're all doing the same stuff. What you need to do is demonstrate that you're an expert, right? And so these five steps that we're gonna go through now are what you need to do to demonstrate you're an expert. In any town, in any city in the UK, if I was in web design again, I could crush it in that field, right? And so the first step you need to do is demonstrate that you're the expert by producing content, right? And so think of the content that someone might search for prior to getting a website, right? And you could produce content along these lines how to hire the perfect web designer, right? Five steps to hiring the perfect web designer. And you write a blog on that or you create a YouTube video on that. Whatever you decide, it doesn't matter. But that content is gonna attract people that are looking to buy a website, right? I'm sure you can't disagree with that. And so that content, you're gonna just demonstrate, these are the things that you need to look at when hiring a web designer. You need to check their portfolio. You need to uh, ask them how busy they are. Are they actually gonna be able to work on your project right away or have they got lots of work on at the moment, right? And you're gonna go through five tips and uh, tricks that are gonna really, really help them get that decision made, right? And then, at that stage, the second step is that you need to capture some leads, right? You need leads of people that want websites. And so you're gonna give something away. And most likely for you guys, it's gonna be a guide, a report, or maybe a discount voucher, right? It could be a credit that they could opt in for for 50 pounds off the project um, or, or something like that, right? But more than likely, it's gonna be a guide or report. And that guide or report could be your portfolio, right? It could be that they opt in to see these are the best or the most important things that you need to consider when making an e-commerce site or the, uh, these are the 10 things that every website must have to increase conversions, right? Some sort of value, some sort of guide or report, similar to the content, but this time it's a better, more detailed thing that they're actually opting in for, guys, right? Uh, and by doing that, you're gonna have a list of leads that want websites, right? And so you can, web, uh, you can market to them via email, or this next step, 
will help you convert some of them into customers. Uh, if you're finding this useful while you're here, just quickly before I jump into the next step, do smash the like button, make it turn blue, because that helps me get this message out uh, to more people and help serve you guys. So the third step is you want to turn them into a customer, right? And you do that by probably in your instance, getting them to book a call. Right, so get them to book an appraisal call, a strategy call, uh, and I would get them to book into your diary. We use something called Calendly to do that. Calendly is a great little app that you can use uh, to really, really grow your business effectively. And so by getting them to book in, they'll have the time set aside rather than you cold calling them or, or trying to like, hound them, get them to come to you. Right. By doing that, they'll have time set aside and then on that call, you're going to go through a web health check or whatever it is that you do and you're going to demonstrate your product or service. And at the end of that call, you're going to offer them to become a client. Now, because you've got them to book in, they've already got that time set aside. You're not catching them when they're out and busy. And so that means that they're going to be way more likely to convert. Not only that, they've already gone to, through two steps prior, which both were content and value. And so they already like you a little bit more than just some random company like Yellow Pages calling them and hassling them to buy a website, right? Hopefully this makes sense. Uh, and so that's the third step is offer them to become a customer. Then you offer your core service. So whatever your core product or service is, that's the fourth step. And you're going to go into more detail with them and offer them your premium products and services, right? Now, most web designers stop there. In fact, 99% of web designers that I've seen, they stop there. They don't sell any more stuff. And the most important thing that you can do is create premium products and services that you offer to your clients and you continue to sell to them. So that's the fifth step is to continue to sell to them, right? And I've worked with web designers that they offer web design and then they offer marketing services. Pretty much most of you guys do that. But then maybe they have a retreat or maybe they have an event, a live event that you bring speakers in and the clients come to once a year to get all the best info on what's happening in marketing and growing a business at that point, right? That could be a great premium product that you add at the end of it. Or you can get affiliate products, right? Because you know that they've now got a website, maybe they want marketing services, or maybe they need some software to do the marketing or schedule their show, social media. There's a ton of stuff. And I can work with you on my business accelerator to help you guys get this implemented, right? And, and, and that's what we do here. We teach web designers and consultants and to basically absolutely smash it by using this five-step system, right? Now, my community as well is crying out for web designers. We've got thousands of entrepreneurs and business owners on our business accelerator and we have some web designers going through the program that are flooded with work because I teach marketing, right? And so by being in my community, that could really help serve you. And it's a great place for you to be because that's where the low hanging fruit is, right? And so I want to give you a bit more help and get you growing this web design company of yours even further. And so I've written a book called Expert Mastery, and that will teach you my five-step system in more detail on how to launch this into your business effectively. So in the description of this video is a link where you can grab your free copy of Expert Mastery today. I'm gonna pay for the book, you're gonna pay for the shipping, right? I can't say fairer than that. So do that now, click on the link below, go and grab your free copy of Expert Mastery today. It's gonna to be a game changer for your web design company and it's a real physical book, not an ebook right? Uh, and if you want some more lead generation strategies, I've also got an ebook on that that you can grab. So while you're here, do make sure you smash the like, smash subscribe. I've got so much more information to help you grow your web design company. I hope you found that useful. If you didn't already, comment below. Let me know who you are. I want to know all about your business and let's get to know each other and, and help you grow that uh, together. Now at the end of this video, there's going to be a, a video probably here that will give you uh, an in-depth training that I would recommend that you go and watch on growing your business effectively using my five-step business accelerator methodology. So click on that video, go and grab the book. I'll see you soon. My name's been James Nicholson. Stay blessed and I look forward to growing your business together. See you soon.